Hey guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 11th episode of Season 4 of The Muppet Show, which features Lola Falana. Now for those of you who don't know who Lola Falana is, she was actually discovered by the legendary Sammy Davis Jr. and she would go on to have a very prominent career as an actress, a singer, and a dancer in which she has been featured in numerous of stage productions, television shows, and feature films, including A Man Called Adam, The New Bill Cosby Show, uh, Lost, uh, Lola Colt, uh, The Klansman, Lady Coco, and The Liberation of L.B. Jones, in which the last one, she has actually gotten a nomination at the Golden Globes. Now, if we go into the episode that she appeared in The Muppet Show, it was really interesting, I have to say. Like, the first half, it was definitely fantastic, but then the second half, it was not so great. But the reason why I say it's actually interesting... Oh my god, well, you'll see what I mean. Like, it, it's kind of a direction that you'd never expect in The Muppet Show, honestly. Like, uh, up to that level, per se. Now, the thing is, is that... The story goes is Gonzo is actually having his last production in The Muppet Show. And that is actually because he has a movie contract in Bombay, India. So he's pretty much preparing to go uh, into Bombay and become a movie star, basically. And throughout the whole time, or at least in the first half, he kind of has this movie star attitude where he's like, Hey, KF, how's it going, baby? Alright, see you later, man. Gotta go out and be a movie star, you know? Like, that kind of crazy attitude. But then, like, later, like, it would actually dawn on him that he's actually leaving. And I guess I might as well go at it right now. The biggest moment of this episode is hands down when Gonzo would sing My Way. Like, holy crap. Well, like, during that moment, Gonzo would sing, like, kind of his farewell number, like, his final performance in The Muppet Show, where he would pretty much go and sing My Way. But at that, that's actually the moment, though, where it kind of dawned on him where Gonzo is legit leaving The Muppet Show, and he broke down in the middle of it. Like, holy crap. It, uh, like, I gotta say, right now, it is possibly one of, or if not, the saddest moment in The Muppet Show. Like, holy crap, the emotions were real. Plus, like, and, and especially, I think what really helps it is that, like, it, it would, like, Gonzo didn't even finish singing My Way. Like, he sang halfway through and then just legit broke down on stage where Kermit had to come in and... Uh, try to comfort him. It's like legit one of the saddest things I've ever seen. It was like, oh my god, it really pulled your heartstrings to see like, y you know, like one of the, like, the, the peaking moments where like Gonzo legit has to go and especially afterwards, like, or beforehand, you see him having this full-on attitude that he's ready to go and like take a new step in his life to become like uh, a movie star in Bombay, but then this happened, it's like, wow! Like, yeah, there have been a few sad moments before in The Muppet Show, but never up to this level. Like, oh my god! And especially how, um, like, and also the one thing beforehand is that they even set it up a little bit that they wanted, like, to say farewell to Gonzo, including having some numbers where he would say goodbye, but this is like, the pinnacle moment that you really do feel for him. In fact, like, when it was on television, that, like, after that production number, that's when it goes on to commercial. Like, oh my god. It, it, it's just... It, it, it's crazy, honestly. It really was. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it was... It, like, honestly, I just felt shocked how emotionally deep that they really went with this moment. It, it was extremely well crafted, but oh my god, it was crazy. Uh, but my critique, however, would actually come from the second half, because, okay, yeah, it's a little bit of a spoiler territory, but yeah, we all know where this is going. Gonzo is not leaving the Muppet Show after all, like, he decided, well, like, his contract actually broke, and, um, he's pretty much, uh, he, like, he pretty much wanted to stay. 
And at that point, that's when things really feel like they're rushed. Like, um, they suddenly found a new assistant, Gonzo wanted to stay, uh, he pleaded to Kermit to stay, and he finally stayed and did a new, like, comeback number and all that kind of stuff. Like, those parts were kind of obvious, and you could tell, like, it was completely rushed, considering that the whole build-up took half of the entire episode, and the rest is, like, you know, just the second half. Now, maybe this sounds crazy, but it would have been really effective if, like, they were pretty much split into two different episodes. Like, like if that, like, that would legit work as a season, like, that would have been phenomenal as a season finale where you got one part where you got like the first half where like yeah like the first half of the season of the season finale would be gonzo leaving and then afterwards it would be like the whole replacement like that kind of story it requires something a bit longer but you could tell that they really kind of rushed into things because like overall we know he's not really leaving and all that kind of stuff so yeah but in terms of the numbers individually a lot of them are actually pretty interesting um but i will say though that with uh, the special guest star of lola falana you know she's mostly your typical singer guest star so she doesn't leave that much of an impact only like the most that she did is just give wise words to gonzo you know to like chin up and be happy and all that kind of stuff and that's pretty much it really i mean she did some pretty decent performances with uh he's the greatest dancer and she would sing smile and also at the end when she would sing united we stand but that's pretty much it um there are there are some other moments as well that do appear like uh apparently like the opening number was to reveal that gonzo is actually leaving so it's kind of like his little farewell thing where Gonzo and his chickens would actually sing um, pick, a li uh, pick a little, talk a little, good night ladies. Uh, and then afterwards, there is actually one fun little number. It's right, like, right after the My Way section, uh, you actually have Camilla and all the chickens singing, I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. Where even though you don't really understand what they're saying, it's all like, bop, 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 bop. But, like, you do get the implication, like, you do see a little bit of the scenario where, uh, Camilla wants to, like, get her memory out of Gonzo, like, she wants him, uh, out of his mind and all that kind of stuff, so that was a little bit fun. Uh, but other than that, there really isn't much else worth mentioning, I guess, I mean, there is technically also, uh, Muppet Sports, which actually does involve, like, this freaky-looking Muppet with his eyes literally popping out, um, which the whole thing is that uh, there's this guy who wants to do this staring contest with a tree, which he actually ends up winning. So yeah, the overall, I would say with this episode, like, honestly, I do get what they were going, and for half of it, it was done extremely well, and probably one of the most emotional uh, uh, moments of this entire of the entire series honestly like my way like the whole the whole my way bit yeah it's gonna be a highlight of the entire se uh, series just as possibly the saddest moment of the entire of the entire show uh but yeah because of the second half it just feels rushed through like it just feels like it's not necessarily worth it like if they split the whole thing in two and make it as like a season finale then it would have been great it would have been worth it and they would have you know took the time to actually polish some of the things that do feel rushed but other than that um yeah overall like it, it does like there are some things that really do work and they work tremendously but then on the other hand it's just uh, it doesn't work out as well it's just like yeah, we know the outcome, so they're just going to throw it out there, and that's pretty much it. So, it was great, but it could have been handled better. But anyways, that is pretty much it with uh, this episode of the Muppet Vlog. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time if uh, we're going to see more, epi more uh, Muppets who decide to somehow leave, but then not, I guess. But we will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes! Thank you.